Hello everyone, my name is Budu Chris and in this video I will be showing you how to use my maps as a survey. In the last survey form we sent to the surveys, uh, we did have the responses back, which is in here. You can access all the responses. It is showed either in terms of pie chart or bar chart. And from here, we need to import it as spreadsheet. You can view it in, in terms of spreadsheet. Uh, some of the spreadsheet sometimes new does need cleansing. So in terms of location, so you have to assign them either in latitude or longitude. But there are some where you can import it directly to my map. So what we'll do in this one, we'll just give it a go. We go to my maps. Click in here. Click on get started. And you can do create a new mind map. Pretty straightforward. So what you need to do, you just need to import your spreadsheet along with the data on this map. So we'll go from here. We'll do import new layer. In terms of CSV files so by default, the spreadsheet was saved into my Google Drive. So I just need to select it. You select the, the spreadsheet. Melbourne Mapping Survey and then uh, it will ask you uh, what are the informations you want to import on this layer so you can provide the name and the address where it can map it over this uh, the far back map press continue and then it also it also asks you um, you can pick a column for the titles where on the layers need to be shown so in this case we'll be putting the names it will just take some time as you can see uh, those little icons are the places where all the individual slaves so what we can do from here we can just uh, we can customize or we can pick a color for each and every one uh, I suppose we pick this one and as these icons are the home addresses we can pick an icon suppose for home and we can customize for each and everyone by picking different color where you can see at the same time I'm changing it on the layer it get changed it gets changed at the same time on the on the on the map so what we'll do we'll do we'll we'll keep on we can keep on configuring each uh, individuals assigning each color each different color and from here uh, we can go and add different layers suppose Here we go. From the same uh, spreadsheet file. This time, we might add what's the best place. What's the best place for look uh, leisure? Continue again the address, and we'll keep on con uh, configuring those layers like we did for the first one for the home, and also rename those layers like. We can say this one home. We can mention this one. Oops. Hold in this layer. Favorite place or restaurant. Same goes for this one. Leisure activities. 
or leisure place. As you can see, uh, I have assigned for each individual uh, different color in terms of its house, its leisure place, and its favorite spots. And these uh, informations can be seen on the on the map. In here we can also customize the base map it depends uh, how you want it to be looked in this scenario I want to highlight all these uh, icons in terms of colors so I'll be choosing a fader one which is this one or a much fader one which is this one where it sort of brings out all the information and you will see there's another interesting feature when you hover your mouse uh, okay. when you click on the on any of the icons it show you that person's data like in overall it's his address his occupation his best place to eat his place to his, his place to leisure etc and these informations you can also import them as KML file where you want to project them in a different uh, QGIS software and uh, that's all for how to view your survey report results on my map thank you for watching